Thank you, Kevin, for reminding me. Without data, I would just be an op a person with an opinion. You know that. I'm just setting the stage for what this day is. So let's dive into data and back up the claim that I just made. For this registration, for this conference, uh, I'm pulling up some metrics that we have defined through our diversity inclusion working group. We had 12 diversity access ticket requests. I believe two of them are here today. The others could not find travel funding. Uh, we also have code of conduct at event, another metric. For the diversity of our group today, we have uh, here a nice chart of the gender diversity. We have the age ranges, showing that we have a cluster in the middle, but there are some outliers with 99. I don't know if someone <laughs> entered it just for fun. <laughs> Where are you all from around the world? It's great to see so much diversity here in one room and so much interest in chaos. Your job titles are all over the board. I just wanted to give you a little shout out that you are here. We still have a few people standing. If you want to find empty seats or... I'd be here just in case people come so I can say... Okay, excellent. Thank you. We want to thank our sponsors. We have Biturgia, GitLab, SQL Assist as our silver sponsors. Bronze sponsor is Red Hat. They are the ones who funded this venue, the lunch that we're having, and wait for it, all day coffee and tea and snacks. So give them a thank you. You can also find some swags that they brought. Please take it home with you. Let's get serious. Let's get into chaos. Why do we even have chaos? When we look at open source projects, we have many questions that come to mind. Will this project be around in 10 years? Is it secure? Is it going to be reliable? Am I entering any business risk? Is it diverse? Is it welcoming community? We have many, many questions about project health. The definition that I use for project health is whether an uh, open source project is likely to continue developing quality software in the future. This is what I wrote in my PhD dissertation. I want to highlight just three aspects here. One is produce quality software. We're not just a healthy community if we all like each other and we're working well together. We are actually producing something. Second, continue. We're not just doing it now. We will continue to do so in the future. Third, probability or potential. I put potential. We cannot know for certain whether a community project will continue to exist and produce quality software. But through the help of metrics, hopefully we can have a pretty good guess. Chaos was started with a mission to one, establish implementation agnostic metrics about community activity contributions and help. And secondly, to develop software that integrates these metrics. So when you look at chaos today, we have two, um, two committees, basically. So we have two, two committees. Chaos produces, on the one hand, metric definitions, and on the other, implements those metrics. And reverse, we're also taking the implementation of metrics and defining them, what they mean, why we want to use them, and what's the standard way to look at them. Now, I hope you all brought your time travel capsules with you because I want to take you back in time. I want to take you back three years to 2017. It, chaos, for me, started at the Open Source Leadership Summit 2017 where we just wrote on the board for unconference sessions, community help. Not expecting anyone to show up, we filled the room. We had to pull in chairs from outside. There was so much interest and the Linux Foundation took note. The Linux Foundation, in fact, was hiring Biturgia to produce metrics for its own communities. Mm -hmm. We had the academic side, Matt and I were there, and Sean and others who wanted to study this. And then we had all of you from industry, 
and everywhere else who wanted to come together and learn about this topic and improve the status quo. So we started Chaos uh, in August at the Open Source Summit. North America is when Jim Zemlin stood on the big stage and announced it. We started Chaos with four open source projects. Augur, Craigit, Remore Lab, and Prospector. Prospector is currently in the attic. We need more people who would like to advance the software. If you're interested, Harish is here. Harish, where are you? If you are interested in Prospector, please talk to him. Augur is our our uh, sandbox, our, uh, where, where we play with metrics, where we implement them and try them out. Um, from uh, at, It's housed at the University of Missouri and cooperation with the University of Nebraska at Omaha. We have Craigit, developed by Daniel German, which is the uh, improvement over Git blame to find out not just who last edited a line, but who actually inserted that variable that is now causing issues so that you can look at the token level in your code and find out who that edited it. And then we have Grimoire Lab. Vitrugia developed it and used it to provide its services. So it's, uh, it's uh, pretty advanced already. It has 30 different data sources that it can read data in, store it all, visualize it, and produce reports. That's how we got started. We have been very active since. We have now, today, is the fifth chaos con in three years. That is quite amazing. So just by a show of hands, for whom is this the first time at chaos con? Oh, so many new faces. Excellent, excellent. Welcome. Great you found your way here. Who has been to chaos con once or twice before? Raise your hand. Welcome back. It's great to see that you found your way back. Who has been to ChaosCon three or four times before? Wow, you are truly the pillars of chaos. Thank you so much for being here. So we started with four software projects and had to start working on metrics. We, we started by just collecting all the ideas that we were hearing. It was a huge list of just names of different metrics people were interested in. And then as we were trying to figure out what they actually mean, what who they are, here are some seats in the front. Yeah, please come around. <laughs> Welcome to KSCon. One of the things that we noticed is there are clusters of metrics. And we formed working groups. Diversity inclusion was the first one we formed because that was a topic a lot of people were interested in. We learned that this model of working groups worked really well for defining metrics. We duplicated that for the evolution working group. At the time, it was called the GMD, Growth, Maturity, and Decline. But we renamed that. <laughs> A year later, after the Open Source Leadership Summit again, we started two more working groups, Risk and Value, because there was a lot of interest in those areas as well. And soon we realized there were some overlap, and so we needed a common working group. I have these in the slides for you to look at. This all is a team effort, is a community effort. These are the companies that our board members are from, but there are so many more people who are involved in chaos. And I just want to make sure you are aware that there's a huge support behind what is happening here which we'll see, I have another slide later, just how big that is. We are also paying it forward. We are engaging in mentorship programs. We have had two rounds of Google Summer of Code, a total of five students successfully graduated from the program with chaos. We are now looking for mentors again for this year, not just Google Summer of Code, we are also doing outreach this time. So if you are interested in mentoring, please let Matt or I know, and we will see if you can help, how you can help and make it happen. Now, when we, when we started, we knew 
defining community health is really a difficult topic, defining metrics. We just wanted to move off zero. We wanted to move the needle just a little bit and up. And it's been, it's been a slow process. But we now have not one, but two metric releases. As of today, we have the second metric release, 202001. We have across all five working groups, 16 focus areas that we group metrics in with a total of 39 metrics contributed by more than 130 people. Thank you so much for everyone who has been helping with this. This is a huge achievement. We don't stop there. This is all possible because we are connected in the open source ecosystem. We are collaborating, we are working with other groups and folks everywhere. Here's just a few examples that I could think of in my three minutes preparing this slide. We have a, currently the Apache Software Foundation Community Survey 2020 that is running already two, uh, 600 responses and more that are using chaos metrics for their survey. We are working with the Linux Foundation events team to bring some insights on the, again, diversity and inclusion at events metrics in their content. We are building community reports for open source projects to see how the responses to the metrics get feedback, improve the metrics, and in the same um, vein, we're already seeing some changes in these communities we are making these reports for. Harvard has the Open Source Software Health Index project and is using the Chaos Auger project to calculate its metrics and is matching our metrics with their metrics. We have also collaborations around creating metrics. Emma Irvin at Mozilla developed or was heavily involved in the Code of Conduct Assessment tool, and many of those same questions are chaos metric questions. We are also using the work of others, like the Open Source Initiative, the SPDX group, the Core Infrastructure Initiative, and we are saying these are good metrics to look at. You can find more details when you go to our metrics release. That's my intro to the history of chaos, the state of chaos, where we are today. Today, let's talk about our fun day that is ahead of us. We are taking pictures and video. If you do not want to be in pictures and videos, please let us know so that we can accommodate you. We are also, uh, well, we don't have pronoun stickers. We ask you to write in your pronouns and then avoid awkward situations when you mingle and meet people. We have a code of conduct that all of you agreed to adhere to. If there are any issues, please let me or Don. Don, can you raise your hand? Thank you. No, and we will um, we will handle that. But just be nice, gracious human beings to each other, and uh, we should be good. Questions are love. We will have speakers up here who share. What they are have what they have been working on their ideas. Show them some love by asking some questions after the session and during the breaks. We also are uploading the slides. Thank you, Ray and Don, for uploading the slides and the speakers for providing them ahead of time. If you go to our events page, there is a new column in the schedule where you can get the PDFs. Restrooms are just out here up the stairs. You find the restrooms right outside here. We have um, several sessions and breaks. Um, you can find schedules all around. And then lunch is going to be a buffet style out here. Hopefully there's something for everyone. Did I forget anything? Is there anything, any other announcements that anyone would like me to make? Great. Then we can start with our program.